in darkness. I shall be light. Times of doubt. I shall keep faith. of rage. I shall hone my craft. In vengeance, I shall have no mercy. Farlock. Roll 
Brothers, rise! We have orcs to kill! For the Emperor! The Inquisitor was not pleased. This is Gabriel Angelos, Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens. My Space Marines and I have deployed to the breach. We shall stem the Orc Tide. Space Marines? It's about damn time you got here. War party broke through. I must hurry. The orcs have been driven out. We've been fighting them without reprieve for so long. I thought these were our last days. You fought valiantly, enduring this. Your call for aid should not have gone unanswered. Nonetheless, my house and I owe you, Space Marines, a great debt. to repair all of our damaged night armor. The Orc's best chance to dis- This reprieve from the Xenos will allow us to repair all of our damaged night armor. The Orc's best chance to destroy us has now passed. Even so, I shall leave a force of Space Marines on Cyprus' surface. Blood Ravens do not abandon loyal soldiers of the Emperor. I will repay this debt, Master Angelos. My word is my bond. Solaria out. Chapter Master, you have another communique from the Inquisitor. Put him through. Gabriel Angelos, I summoned you to this world for a greater purpose than mere orbs. My purpose is dictated by the Emperor, not you, Inquisitor. Duty demands I stand with my fellow man against the alien. Duty demands you follow my orders. We need to conserve our forces in high orbit. For what? The Orcs are the only threat I see in this system. All will be revealed in time. Do not get distracted until then. Inquisitor out. Long a battlefield, planet Cyprus was littered with the wreckage of the armies and war machines that had contended there. To most, it was a scarred wasteland. But for the orcs, it was a rich bounty of valuable scrap. The orc Gorguts came to Cyprus to avail himself of these riches and pledged his allegiance to one of the local war bosses. But few believed that he would be satisfied being a servant for very long. Stop dying, you cowards! Take the Umi fort! Hmm. Bosky Stomper was making another mess. I left the show now, it's done. I did it! I took this fort! After I did all the work! And you deserve to work! We wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for your plan failing at the keep! But I'm a forgiving boss. You build me a big gun here. One that can blow over Varlock Keep, and I'll call it even. For your forgiveness? Anything for you, boss. We are done, boss called Guts. War boss gets Stomper's big guns ready. About time. The Eldar are back circling to give us another go. The Eldar are legging it! And the gun works good! Too good if you ask me. Gretchen, before we hand this off to Git Stomper, I need you to make some modifications. Okay! It was a bit of bother to get her back to your camp, but here you go. A big 
gun for Big Boss Ditch Stopper. It'll blow away Varlock Keep easy. Oh, I misjudge you, Gorguts. That gun will really help me out. I ain't gonna use it on the keep just yet, though. You see, I got Eldar raiding me camp, trying to kill me. Oh, Eldar, you don't say. Yeah. I don't know why they're invading this world, but Kit Stomper will give them that fight they're looking for. I'm gonna knock them dead with this gun. Well, you give them a good duffing for me, Kit Stomper. I will. Take care, Gorguts. Stupid Kit. Doesn't even know what the Eldar are here for. But I do. Same thing I came for. The only reason I came to this mud ball and joined this pack of fools in the first place. The Eldar warlord, Kaya, was obsessed with the prophecy of Cain and sent his army to Cyprus to await the re-emergence of the wandering world. But Kaya's army met unexpected resistance from the local orcs. Kaya sent the Farseer Maka to assist his forces. Based upon her auguries, Maka did not trust the prophecy. Sinister forces at work. These orcs do not die easily. I will need to fight through them in order to take command of the Eldar here. These orcs are numerous and reasonably disciplined, yet the war boss does not show himself. Only by killing him can we destabilize this world's orcs. Perhaps destroying his war towers will draw him out. Joke's on you, Eldar! I've got a nasty surprise for ya! Fire! Hey, did super! Go, Garcia! Consider yourself backstabbed! Gorguts! That sneaky girl pay! We prevail and the field is secure. Our hope was that killing this war boss would destabilize the orcs. However, this Gorguts that orchestrated the deed is already poised to replace him. Ortakaya. Your Swordwind is victorious, and our positions on Cyprus are secure. Excellent. And the war boss? He is dead? Indeed. I took command of the floundering war host and secured his demise. However, I fear this victory will not disrupt the orcs as you planned. The war boss was betrayed, with another orc poised to replace him. The beasts fight each other for power. I see our aim achieved. You're right. Yet my unease remains. It's the same disquiet I have for the prophecy. Must I remind you that the prophecy is not your concern? My inner circle has its interpretations well in hand. Of course, Otak Kaya. I have other matters to attend. The Human Inquisitor. He has come into possession of an artifact that is ours, and I intend to get it back. My lord, how can I serve? I have no need of you. Stand down and await my next edict. My counsel is refused at every turn. We have a situation, Angelos. An hour ago, the Eldar launched an attack on Starfort Helios. This Starfort is absolutely crucial to my strategy. You have brought several of these Starforts into the system, Inquisitor. Should I assume you're planning some sort of blockade for us Blood Ravens to enforce? That is 
not yet your concern. What should concern you is that your chief librarian, Jonah Orion, is on Starfort Helios now. What's Jonah doing there? I invited him. You see, a relic of Xenos origin was brought to Starfort Helios, and Jonah's expertise is needed to study it. The relic is of extreme value to the Inquisition. Let no harm come to it, or to my Starfort for that matter. I've made a Death Watch kill team available to you to ensure that. Brother Chaplain Diomedes, I want a report on the status of Varlock Keep before I deploy to Starfort Helios. Very well, Chapter Master. My detachment and I reinforced House Varlock like you ordered. The Lady Solaria is a fearsome ally. Together, we executed a joint breakout offensive from the Keep. It was successful in driving the remaining Orcs from Varlog territory back to their nests in the Cyprus Badlands. Good. The Varlog Knights are worthy allies. Keep supporting them. Do not let the Inquisitor countermand you. He bypassed me to enlist Jonah. Understood. You play politics while I purify Cyprus Ultima. of Starfort Helios is your foremost priority. Protection of the Xenos Relic is your second. Sadly, Chief Librarian Orion will have to fend for himself. Jonah is my chief advisor. I've been through too much with him to leave him in danger. Especially for some cursed Xenos artifact. Your sentimentality is tiresome. You're demanding sacrifice where none is needed. I will rescue Jonah. I will defeat the Eldar attacking your Starfort. And yes, I will even stop them from taking your tainted bauble. I shall take that as a promise. Chapter Master, the Star Force is overwhelmed. We must regain control quickly. Strike Force and Stronghold deployed. The relic they are after is from Acheron, a cursed world that emerges from the warp every 5,000 years. They have entrenched two positions onto the Star Fort to take it. We must destroy these encampments to reclaim Starfort Helios. There's the relic! It's some sort of power core. We don't have much time before they get away. The Inquisitor won't like it, but to keep the relic from Eldar hands, we must destroy it. It had to be done, Inquisitor. Better to burn the relic than let it fall into Xenos' hands. The backlash damaged all of Helios' systems. Starfort Helios is helpless, and my blockade fractured. You need to fix this, Angelos. Before planet Acheron arrives. That's what you intend to blockade. Is it not, Inquisitor? You can't hide secrets from Blood Ravens. Our chapter archives keep records of Acheron. The Eldar have fought for it before, hoping to claim its treasure. A weapon of untold power. The mythical Spear of Cain. That is why I need to blockade Acheron. To keep the Eldar from getting it. But you've broken my blockade. This spear is concerning. What if I redeployed Brother Chaplain Diomedes and his detachment to defend Helios? Is that satisfactory? Wise. 
though Diomedes won't approve. You and I will have to assume his duties on Cyprus Ultima. I don't trust the Inquisitor, but until Acheron comes, this blockade is the correct tactic. Boss! <laughs> Boss! Come quick! It's raining scrap! The Yumi's got into a fight in space and now free loot is crashing everywhere! <laughs> this is perfect! Just the chance I've been waiting for! To get scrap? No! To conquer the rest of this war, you gitch! <sighs> All the Chop Hawks are warring to be the next big boss, and each one is gonna come running for this scrap, hoping to get an edge. That's when I beat them all at once! Something's coming to this world, and I need to sort this mess into a proper war before it does. So you don't want the scrap? I no! That's mine too! Who are these top orcs that want to fight Gorgas to be boss? I ain't heard of any of them. Really? You ain't heard of Zap Noggin? How about Wazmaka, the big mech? No! Zap Noggin, he's an old weird boy with an head so huge that lightning shoots from his ears! As for Wazmaka, they say he's so smart that he built a tractor beam that stole a moon and threw it into a star just for laughs! You're talking rubbish! Wazmaka, yeah, he's clever, but he's scared of his own shadow. Zabnoggin's a tough old orc, but his problem is he's got no craving for a real fight. What's the point in getting that old if you ain't ever fought a grand, proper war? Come on, come on! Let's nick all the scrap before those would-be bosses move in! Ooh, that's a beaut! Your guts! The only old too dim to know how good he has it. See his rival dead with his own eyes. You win! Don't ruin my beautiful face! It ain't fair! I was to be boss! Only I was handsome enough! Oh, it's no beauty contest. Such a gobs. You two work for me now. Yeah, yeah. You're the boss now. But are you ever going to tell us why you went to all that trouble? Right. The big prize. You think a clever old like me signed up with a dunce like Git Stomper just for laughs? <coughs> Now, before I came here, I scored a load of secrets in this dump called Karava. One of them secrets is the thing that the Yumis and the Elders are fighting on this world for. What are you talking about? Spit it out! The Planet Acheron. Farsia Maka, I am Ronan, Lord Kaya's spymaster. I've been sent to give you your next mission. You waste your breath. I already know Kaya has devised some errand that will remove me from this war. Not an inaccurate assessment. Kaya wants you to hunt Angelos and follow his fleet from this space. It is lucky for you that Angelos has chosen to remain on Cyprus Ultima. And Kaya does not know this. Follow your orders. Hunt Gabriel. My rangers will lead you to him. 
If you use this as an opportunity to resist Kai's plans, that is your choice. Hear the words of prophecy. Fiery skies shall light the way, and blood shall spill over the wandering world. The Spear of Cain shall call the Wayfarers, and the Storm Prince shall unite them. Their victory shall shake the heavens. Brethren, soon the wandering world will appear and bring with it the Spear of Cain. Wielding it, we'll reunite the Eldar race and rule the galaxy once more. However, an old foe stands in our way. Gabriel Angelus. Farsia Maka. She is my champion. I bequeath her the glorious honor of hunting down and killing Angelus. Once Maka removes this obstruction, we shall secure our future! Farseer Maka! Long have I watched you from afar, but now it is time for us to finally have words. Jane Zar, you do me great honor. To what do I owe the notice of a Phoenix Lord? I expected you to be a leader of your people. Instead, you are a petty assassin serving Kaya. I serve the Craft World, and the Craft World serves Kaya. His fiery talk of prophecy muddles their judgment. Yet you have inspired some dissent and perhaps an ally. Kaya's own spy master plots against him. Or does he just spin more deceit? If you have no spine for the game, then you do not have to play it. No, I accept my task. Perhaps fate is finally ready to let me kill Angelus. It has denied me in the past. Yes, the past. A long story. We were allies once, briefly. He failed me, and darkness prevailed. Ronan's rangers should be nearby. They can lead us to Angelos. The Blood Ravens are still here. Ronan wasn't lying. But where's Angelos? There are two communication arrays that we need to capture to pinpoint his whereabouts. However, the alarm network has slowed our progress. We will advance carefully then, scouting for alarm consoles as we go. They cannot summon reinforcements if we destroy their consoles on approach. What do you hope to gain here? I follow the orders of our leader, Kaya, to kill you. Tell your cowering lord this. The Spear of Cain reeks of deceit. No one, including him, will touch it so long as I live. Their fates seemingly intertwined. Maka and Angelos faced each other, their history lingering between them. Once they had been allies, an entente that was split by betrayal, and now, on this day, they were enemies. Maka under orders from Kaya to kill Angelos. But the battle was to be short-lived and inconclusive. For on that day, 
at the same time as they struggled. Acheron, the wandering world of the Eldar prophecy, emerged from the warp after 5,000 years. Acheron's arrival rained fiery debris on Cyprus, and as an errant spire impacted between them, Farseer Maka came to understand that she was now part of larger events that were unfolding around her. These events would spill the blood of legions and would yet have a role for Gabriel Angelou. The wandering world comes, yet Angelo still lives. I would have gladly killed him. But I sense that our fates are yet intertwined. Angelos believes that the spear is corrupted. He wishes to stop any from possessing it and unleashing its dark power. In order to deliver our people from the doom that the wandering world would bring. I need Angelos alive to aid me. And how can our enemies aid us? He will make for Acheron to try to stop Kaya. When he does, I will follow. Clever. Let the enemy of our enemy do our dirty work. He's here, boys! Acheron's here! Get in your ships! Time to leave this sorry rumble behind! You're daft! The Gumis didn't haul in all those fancy space forts just for laughs! Yeah, anything that tries to fly past that world of yours is getting dackered out of the sky. Fly past, you kids! We're flying through! I'm gonna crash Wes's gunship right into that space fort dump. Then, once we're on it, I'll dismantle its cannons one by one. Right, a space fort, huh? Without its cannons, we'll have a hole to sail all the boys straight through. See, you lads can think like proper clever rooks. Now let's get started. <laughs> hey, Bus! I sneaked a peek from the human's talkie box. Give her a listen! Inquisitor to Imperial Navy. Hold star force in high orbit. I want full containment of planet Acheron. Any vessel, Imperial or otherwise, that approaches without my explicit authorization is to be shot down immediately. Ooh. Whatever's on Acheron, the Humis is trying to keep it for themselves. Ha! <laughs> Fat chance. Whatever it is, it's mine. Same way we came. Step two! Then we hit those deck guns. That'll give us lots of room to drop in a war camp. Step three! We build a big war band and smash the huge forward cannons. Gretchen! Here, boss. Get yourself in those there hatches and under the deck. Inquisitor. The quarantine here will not hold. There's no choice. Signal for blood ravens. 
Inquisitor, I have ill news. Gorgatch has breached Starfort Caron and landed on Acheron. I have far greater concerns. While Gorgatz raided Starfort Caron, a greater breach in my blockade opened elsewhere. Starfort Helios is lost. It collided with Acheron when it emerged from the warp. I stationed Chaplain Diomedes on Helios. He's a hero to the chapter. His body must be recovered. None shall violate my blockade, even to administer last rites. Gorgots will grow in power if left to his own devices. Allow me to lead a strike force to Acheron's surface. We can gain valuable intelligence while I lay our brothers to rest. Anything that violates my blockade will be destroyed. Do not test me, Chapter Master. Inquisitor, out. Blood Ravens don't abandon their own. I'll deploy to Acheron alone and lay our brothers to rest. Fleetmaster, I need to deploy alone to the surface. Can you get me past the Inquisitor's blockade? An easy matter. No drop pod is safe from that blockade, but he can't stop you from teleporting. Are you sure you want to do this alone? I sent Diomedes and those men to the Starfort, and it is my duty to make sure they rest in peace. Their blood is on the Inquisitor, not you. Just say the word, and we will confront him. This is not the right time for revenge. Diomedes will be properly honored, and I will find out what Gorgat seeks while I am there. My hope is that whatever I learn is enough to bring the Inquisitor to his senses. Gabriel, you say that this mission is for reconnaissance, but I know you haven't forgotten what Gorguts did to our brothers during the Karafa campaign. And now there is the blood he has shed on Starfort Caron. Will you be able to restrain yourself? I know what honor demands, but Gorguts' plans for Acheron concern me more. If I'm going to defeat him, I need to learn what he's planning. I'm on Acheron, setting out for the crash site of Starfort Helios. We've found Helios. It's become fused with Acheron. Spread out and search the wreckage. That's the last of the scum. Maybe. I fear this isn't their only staging ground. Angelos, I forbade you to land on Acheron, yet you defied me. Inquisitor, I could not let my brothers lie in dishonor on that world. It is right that I did not. Diomedes survived and was standing alone against an Eldar invasion force. What? It is not just orcs on Acheron, but the Eldar as well. Their webway is more invasive than I imagined. They will get to the spear before us. Is that your aim, Inquisitor? You want the spear for yourself? Is that why you blockaded Acheron? Angelos, remain on Acheron and do not let the spear fall into the hands of our enemies. Ronan, before I meet you on Acheron, I would know your intentions. Certainly. Did you ever ask yourself where the prophecy came from? I've heard that the seer who whispers it is among the unliving. 
A ghost confined to a soul stone. Yes, a ghost. My sister, the Farseer Taldir. We follow her prophecy without completely knowing it, yet Kaya pursues its realization relentlessly. You too fear we court disaster. If it is true that the prophecy isn't completely understood, Kaya must be removed from power. You have many secret supporters already. With Toldir as your ally, you could seize power. But Toldir resides in Kaya's sanctum, zealously guarded. We would never reach her. What if I arrange a distraction, perhaps provided by Gorguts? Meet me on the ground with my forces, and we will discuss the details. Maka, if you go down this path, you are no longer peacefully resisting Kaya. There will be bloodshed between you and him. Kaya leads the Swordwind blindly. How many Eldar lives will be lost if I do not challenge him? Very good. Taldir is the source of Kaya's legitimacy, of course. Reaching Kaya's sanctum to find her will not be easy. Can the orcs be made to play their part? Like the ranger believes. That is where I am less certain. I saw how this war boss seized power. Gorguts is cunning, and I fear he cannot be tricked. Farseer, I ordered you away from the Wandering World. You ordered me to hunt Angelus, and here he is upon the Wandering World itself. I merely pursue the mission you set me on. Then you best keep to that mission. If you interfere with the Swordwind's operations in any way, I will hear of it. Ronan, I sense there is something you are withholding. You serve Kaya, yet you would make a queen of me. You would be a magnificent queen. So very glib. What does it matter? If you reunite my sister and I, we can help you. Taldir is being kept from you. And you entered Kaya's service to get her back. Typical farce here's. No secret is safe. But Taldir was a renowned seer of Craftworld Uthwe. There would be blood to pay if it was known another Craftworld was harboring her soul. That is my fault. My goal was to lay Taldir's soul to rest. But things went badly on the journey home. Her soul stone fell into your craft world's hands, allowing Kaya to hear her prophecy. You have gone to great ends for her. Not always. If I can be a better brother in her death than I was in life, that is enough. Maka's war host should be nearby. Be alert. Kaya has lost many warriors in this territory already, and I would hate to join them. We need to parley with this war boss directly. Once I have his ear, I'll coerce him into charging his horde straight at Kaya. He's not going to let an Eldar war host walk into his camp for a peaceful meeting. Then we'll fight through his minions, capture his attention, draw him out, and earn the audience. This island won't survive. We need to move our base off it. It scouted a place to relocate, but we must move quickly. What kind of weapon has Gorguts built to be able to capture meteors? That wasn't the attention from Gorguts we had hoped for. But we are committed. Let's see if destroying his structures on this island brings him to the field. Despite all our attempts to draw him out, Gorguts forced us to fight to the foot of his throne. Be on your guard, Farseer. Leave the talking to me. <laughs> you got some backbone coming here. Speak quickly before I kill ya. Warboss, 
Your spoils of war are meager. Clearly you need a trophy that befits your illustriousness. Hmm. That's some tricky words, Elder, but not enough to fool me. Gorgots only does what Gorgots wants. War boss Gorgots. I am Maka. I fought my way here because I need your services. The leader of the Eldar army, Ortark Kaya, is my enemy. And you want me to sneak in for you? What's in it for me? Kaya is searching for a powerful weapon hidden on this world. I would rather you have it than him. If you were to seize the weapon, you would be the most powerful boss in this sector. Impressive. Not a single lie. Oh, What kind of weapon? Shooter? Chopper? An ancient Eldar artifact. A spear. The Spear of Cain. A super pointy stick! I want it! But how do I know it's ain't a trick? I fought my way here to offer you a deal. Gorguts takes it, or Gorguts leaves it. Oh, Gorguts is gonna take it, all right. From your mate, Kaya Smash Gulps! Oi, Ronnie, we there yet? All this marching is making the boys jittery. It's Ronan. And keep your lackeys focused. We will arrive at the vault soon. The vault, eh? Good name, seeing as it has my prize pointy stick inside it. Yes, the spear. A relic of the god of war, born of the warp, said to obliterate any foe with a single blow. A worthy weapon for a war boss such as yourself. Save the cell job, Ronnie. I know it's worth it from how bad you point yet to bleed him for it. Regardless, the vault is as far as I can take you. Beneath it is Acheron's true service, and the spear. Even we Eldar haven't found a way through to it yet. Well, that's because you Eldar didn't bring a big enough can opener! <laughs> Did I not mention the vault was Kaya's most heavily defended outpost? We are under attack! You gave away our position! I do love to see my enemies at each other's throats. Ronnie backstabbed us as expected, but not before leading us right to where our body. Now, that noggin, what sort of lovely fight is lined up for us? We torched one of their camps just now, but the Eldar got two more camping on the vault. Those bleeding squatters seen on my prize! We'll build our own war camp here and clear out the Eldar one! Than first feared. I trust Valador to handle the green skins. 
Lord Kaya, Wraith Lord Valador is dead. His soul stone broken. The orcs will control the vault before long. No. This cannot stand. It won't stand. Suspend the search for the passage. Recall all warriors. The sword went on march on the orcs and avenge this dishonor. Very good, Ortark. I shall relay your will to my rangers. The deed is done. The brutes have been set upon each other. Then it is time for Taldir and I to finally meet. While Kaya wars with Gorguts, I will infiltrate his encampment and liberate her soul stone. I've planned a quiet operation, just my best warriors and myself. I hope for no violence, but I fear it cannot be helped. My agents tell me you have many sympathizers within Kaya's ranks. If we take Taldir from him, the source of his legitimacy, Perhaps the sympathizers will come to our side. We will see about that later. First, we must unravel the truth of this prophecy. I will make contact with you again once we have Taldir. Farseer, how goes your insurgency? You puzzle me, Jane Zah. You fight by my side as I plan treason against my craft world. Yet as a Phoenix Lord, you could dethrone Kaya with a word and avoid this bloodshed. And if I did that, would you realize your potential? These are dark times for the Eldar of Maka. And the great leaders I seek to deliver us will never emerge if I coddle the craft worlds. Surely we are better served without the stain of insurgency. We are best served when the strong prevail over the weak and foolish. We are in. First, I need a console to pinpoint Taldir's exact location. If the guards catch us using any of the consoles, we will have a fight on our hands. Were it ever so easy. Unhand the Prophet! There's loot over here! Orcs! Now is our chance to run! There is your transport. Party, and this way. I will get you to safety. Let's go! Drown them in blood! This mission cost us dearly. We accomplished our objective. Indeed. I am free of Kaya, and no longer his symbol to wield. To think the orcs could have penetrated so deeply into Kaya's encampment, I underestimated Gorguts. You recognized Gorguts as formidable. I suspect Kaya failed to do the same. I predicted a different outcome. I made the wrong choice. We all flail uselessly without understanding the prophecy. We need to unravel the truth of it. My connection to my brother Roman is deeper than you know. You and I are connected as well. If not by blood, then by fate. With my brother anchoring me to the living world, you and I might combine our vision and finally pierce this shadow that darkens the prophecy. Very well. Let us get you to Ronan. Angelos, I want you to prioritize hunting the Eldar. Do not get distracted by the Orcs. Inquisitor out. Greedy fool just wants the spear. The orc threat will intensify the longer we ignore it. As tempting as it is to do the opposite of the Inquisitor's wishes, Kyr must not obtain the Spear of Cain. There's a quiet power sleeping in this planet. If that is the Spear, 
I shudder to think how powerful Kaya will be while wielding it. How do you suggest tracking them? The Eldar are like ghosts. That is why we will hunt Gorguts. Orcs leave an obvious trail. And as an orc, Gorguts will seek out a powerful opponent to battle. With his large horde, he will be able to search far and wide. And find Kaya for us. Balthazar, Dauntless, do you read? Yes, Chapter Master. We're reading you. I'm in need of aerial support. Bring the Dauntless into high orbit. Are you sure? I've received no notice from the Inquisitor that the blockade has ended. The blockade is a sham. It remains in effect as a formality, so the Inquisitor can save face. He won't give you any trouble. Not when he needs us. Very well. Plot the course, Helmsman. Dauntless, out. The Eldar call this territory the Vault. Supposedly, it's a gateway that leads below to Acheron's true surface, where the spear is enshrined. And the orcs just so happen to make their camp here. Why did the mech run? What's his aim? Destroy that contraption. Hurry! We must reach the tractor beam. The trail led this way. Orcs. Eldar, they're innumerable. Angelos, do you read? You need to get clear. We are readying an orbital bombardment on your position. Inquisitor, do you have any idea what that will set in motion? They're fighting on the vault. Get clear, Rangelos, or die with our enemies. Balthazar! We need an extraction before the Inquisitor drowns this place in fire. I'll try, but our orbital elements are still in disarray. Into the Thunderhawk, now! Go, launch! This was no accident. 
Let the prophecy come to pass. From the front, Gabriel did not make it out. You are to blame, Inquisitor. He was warned. I was not going to waste the opportunity to fire. And because I fired, I stopped Gorguts. I stopped the Eldar. You've stopped nothing, you fool. All you've done is open the way for Kaya. Ronan, I brought her you seek. Taldir, my sister. Would that there was time for a homecoming, but dire matters demand our attention. Surely there is a moment for a reunion. We feared the prophecy was leading us to disaster, but now I have found its form. You'll need to see it with your own eyes to understand. This discovery will sway Kaya? Perhaps, if he was of reasonable mind. But he is a zealot. There's no telling how he will react. We must risk it. We must all see that which disturbs you so. And if Kaya still wants your head... We will take measures. I have led our people to the brink of civil war defying this prophecy. If there's even a chance, we can use what you found to open Kaya's eyes. I have to try. I feel you near, Rona. Speak to me. I long to hear your voice again. I wish there was time, sister. But darkness draws nigh. Yes. Your presence anchors me to the mortal realm as if I was still alive. And I feel the creeping in gloom as well. This is not what I wanted for you, sister. You were to be taken home, your ghost laid to rest. Perhaps when this is all over, For millennia, Acheron, mighty heroes and forgotten craft worlds have been corrupted and undone by you. Here stands the wreckage of ancient Eldar shrines and idols, battlements and barricades, all sealed within a shell forged by our ancient enemy. I have known many Eldar over many generations who have fought for the Spear of Cain. Indeed, I am warring now upon these carcass-strewn battlefields. But thus far, none have claimed the Spear. Why is that, Acheron? It's over here, just ahead. What is that, in the ice? This is it. The shadow in my vision. A demon! It stirs! It's only a matter of time until it wakes! All the more reason to seize the spear and slay it. We can banish the shadow together, but I need Taldir to preserve our unity. I've imprisoned enough warriors for supporting you as it is. Continuing this war will surely awaken this creature. If you're set on staying this course, I must choose rebellion. You choose treason. So be it. Kaya won't give up. He fears losing Taldir will fracture his cause. But fighting him here will only wake the demon further. Then we need to leave. This Wraith Knight can be restored. You would still force us to fight as that thing? I need to end this battle quickly, Ronan! Else the demon draw power from this conflict. You squandered your chance for mercy, Maka! Burn singers! 
Mend these generators and restore power to the Wraith Knight. We can hold Kaya off until it's ready. Maka, Kaya used me to set this disaster in motion. I will be your sword to stop it. Do we know where the gate has taken us? An adrift fragment of the vault. Away from Kaya, temporarily safe. Kaya has abandoned the chase. He's wasted too much time on us. He'll make for the spear instead. A tall task made even harder by word that many warriors are abandoning his cause. With his ranks depleted, can he still challenge the orcs and humans for the spear? He will try, even if he cannot. A cataclysmic defeat, even if there were no demon. The creature's shadow still blinds us from knowing the true prophecy. But Micah, Ronan, with you at my side, I think I can finally pierce it. Jane Zar, put out a call to the warriors abandoning Kaya and assemble them for battle. While you do this, Taldir and I will divine the best future for us all. When it is found, we must be ready to seize it. You heard a lot of gall begging House Varlock for help, Inquisitor. Has this disaster you've crafted cost you all your allies? The Imperium needs your knights. The Eldar are poised to gain a powerful weapon, and are swarming Acheron to get it. Even if I had the knights to spare, why should I help after you abandoned House Varlock? It is unwise to defy an Inquisitor. A disgraced Inquisitor, when word of your failures reaches your masters. House Varlock need not fear you. Now, if that is all, Inquisitor... Wait. There's a signal. I thought it merely the remains of his armor, but it's been moving steadily towards Eldar lines. It's Angelos. He lives. The Inquisitor will die for this! Gabriel will be avenged! The Chapter Master is not our only casualty. Due to the Orc weapon, many of our assets were vulnerable. The Inquisitor's bombardment condemned them. That settles it. I will lead the boarding party and take the Inquisitor's head myself. No. We need to finish the mission. Vengeance is a luxury we cannot afford. Scion 1 to Dauntless. Do you read, Dauntless? We read you, Lady Solaria. Go ahead. I'll be brief. I've received welcome tidings from a detestable source, the Inquisitor. So the Knights of Varlock march to Acheron. We would be honored if you'd join us. Backup is coming. The spear can still be won. No one is touching that spear. Not while I live. What about the sacrifices made to get here? The lives lost! That blood is on your hands. Taking Fear infantry the attack! Your meddling is done, Inquisitor. Be gone! Only the Valiants can decide how this ends. Damn you, Angelos! Friends 
Solaria, you're a welcome surprise. As well you. I feared you had died before I could repay you. Your return is a timely one, Chapter Master. To the west is the Colossus Webway Gate, deploying Eldar in great numbers. They are working to activate a second Colossus Gate to the east. They're fortifying trying to secure the approach to the spear. Then let us put them to the sword. We'll make our stand at the temple with Lord Kaya. Run them down, brothers! Enemy attack. Target destroyed. You all do me honor. I cannot finish this quest alone. However, time is short. While we tarry, Kaya moves closer to the spear he so craves. Balthazar and I deployed a second strike force to run interdiction against the Eldar. They're engaged at the temple, buying time. We must hurry. The orcs are regrouping. They too will assault the temple. Gorguts lives then. So all sides are poised to clash at once. And all of our battle strength is in play. I had this same feeling on the vault, as though we are being led like lambs to the slaughter. I share your unease. Acheron has been building warp energy steadily now. I thought it might soon return to the warp, but it's too calm for that. We must proceed with care. I have confronted evil before, and I am wary of its deceptions. It's a race to the point, you stick. We gotta beat the Eldar to it. This is the final fight. The end of the road for my prize. You know what that means, don't ya? That we all get a chance to die, so you can get more powerful. You got it! It also means every orc here gets to Rampage! Rampage! Then let's gather the boys and let them loose. Not so fast. It ain't that easy. Them Elder Anumis is already ahead of us, standing in our way. We have to find a smart way to break through their line. I got the answer, boss. Big beauty. I'll grind my grudge to get her running. You filled your boys and I'll bring her to ya. You heard him, boys! Let's war! You lot, put it into high gear! The boss needs beauty to be in the fray, killing Eldar and Humies. Get us started up! Is she seeing action, boss? That's for sure! The Humies and Eldar have never had a beating like the one beauty's gonna give them! Is she extra killy, boss? You bet your teeth she is. My own special recipes. All my best designs. I don't call her beauty because of her looks. The Wasmak is almost done, boss. Last step. The Grots are just giving Big Beauty the old spit sign. You're giving it a spit sign? That's right. Wasmaka wants her looking real spiff. I'm gonna give you an head start. 
If that mech ain't in his cockpit, when I get down there, I'll kill you both! Yes, sir, boss. My camp is getting done. You need breathing down my neck. And no ways, Maka! Here she is! As I promised! Yes, me! Oh, you've done me proud, Westmaker! You've seen it, boys! There's a bunch of Yumis and Eldar blocking my way to the point of stick. You and Beauty are gonna rage your way through them! By Kaya's will, the Eldar shall claim the spear today. No Xenos shall touch the spear while I draw breath. Bosh! Bosh! I suppose it's time to collect my winnings. Gorgots! This isn't over! Together, we can finally see. Farseer Maka divined that the prophecy and the spear and the entire enterprise were an elaborate trap. Even then, the spear of Cain, for which so much blood had been spilled, lay within reach of those that sought it. Gorgats arrived first, but Kaya challenged him. And in a swift battle, vanquished him. In his moment of ascendant victory, the trap was sprung on Kai, and it was his blood that was spilled by the spear. It was not the weapon of an Eldar god, but a trinket to lure us like lambs to a blood sacrifice. A ritual to revive an ancient evil and unleash him from the ice. Released from dormancy and then gorged with blood, the demon arose. Kai is dead, and his sword wind is leaderless and trapped. Many of my brethren will die if I do not intervene. And this demon. Empowered as it is, is a danger to the entire galaxy. The prophecy offers the key to defeating the demon. The uniting of the Wayfarers. We Eldar were arrogant to assume it referred only to ourselves. We now know it encompasses two others, Gabriel Angelos, master of the Blood Ravens and their ever-voyaging fleets, and Gorguts, the wandering grifter. I must forge an alliance with them to defeat the demon, but I cannot do so without knowing the true path forward. Indeed, we have pierced the shadow the demon has cast over the prophecy. Yet he is still able to shroud our divination of the future. We have followed the threads of fate as far as we can. They have led us to an ancient Eldar Nexus. I believe this Nexus can pierce the shroud the demon has cast. 
To capture it, you need the warriors of the Swordwind. With Kaya dead, they are leaderless and trapped. I will deliver them first, so fate may deliver us all. The prophecy is revealed to be a trap, and Kaya has died a gruesome death, a victim of his own hubris. You must be pleased with yourself. All that you foresaw has come to pass, and your enemies have fallen before you. What? A great demon has been released from a long imprisonment and unleashed upon the galaxy. Our forces are left scattered and in disarray. This is not victory. Not yet. But you can rest well knowing that matters would have been much worse but for your involvement. You are at the center of these events. This is your moment. Take it. The words of the prophecy were a warning all along. It was a trap. The demon is an agent of chaos, bound to this world by the ancient Eldar. To break its bonds, it required even greater strength than it had. Bloated by millennia of unwitting blood sacrifice, it finally gained the power to break free. And the Spear of Cain, a lure to attract the ambitious and greedy to this world. A deception to trick generation after generation into spilling blood here. And Kaya succumbed without any hesitation. We will be its next victims if we are not careful. and leg it from this world. That demon boy ain't letting us run. He's taken over both the sky and the dirt. He is this world now. Fasir Maka, aid us. We are besieged by Wolfspawn. We must reach our warriors and reform the Swordwind. Then consider it fated. Consider it done. These spires strengthen the demon's influence and disrupt my divinations. But we can't destroy the spires and hold the Nexus simultaneously. Gorguts, I have a way to defeat the demon, but I need someone to topple the dark spires. Last time I helped you, your boy Ronnie sold me out. But I delivered your epic war. The same promise I extend to you now. Mm. Fine. But only because Bailey Kaya was amazing. Ow, what a God! It hurts, boss! Yeah, yeah, I see. That killing fog is surrounding our camp. I busted them spies! 
You need Gorguts to pull this off! The Nexus does its work. The Shroud is lifted. The threads of fate are unraveled and the future finally clear. We're cut off, but we must fight on! Angelos, now I understand why I spared you on Cyprus. I sensed you might show before the end. There is but one way to wound this demon, but it will demand a sacrifice from you. I don't spend my brother's lives lightly, Eldar. I know. But to overcome evil, you have always done what you must. I have seen it. Your ship must destroy this world. Make use of the sun. Balthazar, I trust you overheard that. I accept my duty, Zaya. Warp drive is armed. Battle barge Dauntless beginning crash down approach. You'll need a signal to guide Dauntless down to this fault line. A trio of listening posts will serve. The demon can shield Acheron from much, but not from the Dauntless itself. Not from me. Not from me. Locked on. Impact in five minutes. You will need to maintain the full signal strength. We will defend it with everything we have. Beginning final descent! 72 seconds! A none of finals wanting. Come, Gorguts! To the epic final fight I promised! May none find us wanting! You are needed for one last battle, Angelos. of the ship shattered the mantle of Acheron, smashing it into a multitude of fragments. Those that did not find means to escape perished. Though reduced in stature, the demon was not killed. Four of his dominion remain. My brothers! Serve the steel, boys! Let... Hey? Gorguts, Gabriel, hear me out. We stand upon all that remains of Acheron, the altar of the spear. This is the demon's realm. My forces, my brothers. I sense some escaped, but our concern is the demon. He is here, and we must destroy him. By we? You mean us, as a team? The Wayfarers must unite for victory. It is written.
Angelos, I will fight with you, but only to kill the unholy thing. Demon boy is whooping in his webs! This is that epic fight you promised, eh? Abomination! We need to bring the fight to the demon. Hey! Demon boy! Get down here and fight me, you coward! You're bigger than Jack. The best Let fly my wrath. Ignite. Make way. I shall avenge the blood of my kinsmen that you have consumed. The demon is healing himself at that fountain. He is drawing on the blood sacrifice to restore himself. Why? Die, fair. We need to get down to that altar and destroy the fountain. There's a path down. I will guide us. I understand. Brain of my kin! I see my blood kin, but when? I... Actually, uh... You ain't fighting dirty! Again, it flees to heal. But the way to the altar is open. This way. There, the fountain. It is vulnerable. Defeated and the prophecy broken. The alliance was dissolved, and the wayfarers went their separate ways. At least I got me pointing stick. 